Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd do a little day in the life. So I'm out and about running errands this morning and uh, I'm gonna pop into Goodwill and see if I find any treasures. I will let you know if I do. Um, I wanted to kind of give a little weight update. I'm not sure if you caught my video yesterday, my Weight Watchers Weigh In Wednesday video, and I reported that I was at 185.8, which means I was up like 1.4 pounds. Got on the scale this morning. This is how temperamental the scale is and how our body really, truly fluctuates um, so I got on the scale today, 184.8, which means I was up four ounces, <laughs> which is nothing. <laughs> so that is why it is all about the lifestyle. So um, obviously I am sticking to my Weight Watcher plan. Um, if you're not aware, I am on the purple plan, which means I have 16 points a day, um, which isn't bad because really um, all lean meats and fruits and vegetables are zero points. So totally manageable. But um, I have been staying well within my points. I think last week I actually had some weeklies left on the table. So I am happy <laughs> that I'm not really up a pound and a half like I said yesterday. <laughs> I knew that it was probably a lot of water weight, honestly, because I had some salty food uh, the last few days. And we went out to dinner. Um, on Saturday so and I knew that sauce I had like a chicken marsala so that was pretty salty so I am very happy I feel like I've been vindicated a little bit <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna run my errands now and I will check back in with you in a little bit so I ran a bunch of errands and I have a little uh, shopping haul to share with you from today so I had to go to Kohl's to return an Amazon package and then uh, the lady hands me a 25% off coupon that I could use today. So I looked around, it has been forever since I've been in Kohl's, probably, I don't know, January, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I go to the same places. I don't go to that many places these days. But um, I did some browsing and I actually found something that I was interested in purchasing. <laughs> So um, I will show you, I got two pillows, one for hubby and one for myself. It says Miracle Bamboo Pillow. It's, it calls it the world's most comfortable pillow. And it's, it looks really, um, really soft. Look at that. It's uh, really full con contours to your, you know, head. And it says that it is, um, Let's see, it is made with adjustable shredded memory foam pillow and then it has uh, a bamboo cover. So I thought hubby and I would try it. Now let me tell you about this deal, you guys. <laughs> so I got two of those. So normally they were $49.99, which is a little steep, um, but they were 25% off. And then with my additional 25% off coupon, um, they wound up being $22 a piece. So I thought that was pretty good. So that hopefully that will help my neck and my back. So it's worth a shot. So I thought that was a good deal. Um, I also popped into a store that I've never been to before. <laughs> comment, comment below if you guys have, but um, we don't have one near us that I know of anyway. Um, which is why I've never been in one, but it's the store at home. I hear a lot of people talking about it, but they aren't that prevalent here in Florida, at least in our area. So today was my first experience there, and um, there was a lot to look at. <laughs> it's like going into a huge warehouse, and if you can believe it, uh, not only do they have fall decor out, but they are setting out Christmas so I saw a sign that said um, Christmas is coming early this year. I haven't looked at the calendar yet. <laughs> I'm trying to get through August. Um, but I browsed the entire store pretty much. Um, I can't say I was really moved to purchase a whole lot. In fact, I did not purchase a whole lot, but um, I will show you what I did buy. So I went in the Christmas section and these are the only items that I bought. I bought four of these. Look at these. Oh my goodness. 
the bling bling. They were $2.99 a piece, so I bought four. So I thought those would be pretty, um, you know, almost anywhere, but on the Christmas tree or just as a decor item, they have a little bit of glitter, which I've gotten all over the table here. I have a slight aversion to glitter. <laughs> but uh, I'll clean it up. But I just thought that was very pretty and it's kind of like a little mini chandelier. I just, when I saw those, I, I, you know, at first I tried to talk myself out of it, but I was like, no, I really like it. <laughs> so I got it. All right, so then the last place that I uh, went in of items that I will share with you, I went to Aldi also, but you guys don't want to see all of that. Um, <laughs> but I got a few things. Um, to take to my nephew's house uh, when I visit him. But um, anyway, I went into Goodwill and I got some good treasures. I wasn't so sure because the other day when I popped in there, they really didn't have much. I don't know if donations are down or if they are just um, streamlining donations to another location, I'm not sure but um, they usually don't fail me. I usually find something that I need. <laughs> so let's jump right into my Goodwill haul. So I was happy to find this vintage uh, Tupperware colander. I have the next size up to this, um, but I love this for just rinsing berries real quick, some blueberries, blackberries, whatever. Um, I just love it. It's sturdy, it's easy. So this was $1.89. You cannot beat that, right? So love that. Um, and then I really needed another file container for my desk. And I, you know, I refuse to pay full price. <laughs> I just can't. But isn't that nice? It's like a faux leather. Um, I have another one sitting on my desk. Um, so, you know, it would have been really perfect if I found two of these and replaced the other one, but that's okay. I'm not that worried about being matchy-matchy. But this wound up being $1.89, you guys. $1.89. And it is in beautiful, like-new condition. I actually looked at some they had at the store at home, and um, they had some pink and blue, and it was kind of a cheap uh, cardboard, basically. And I think they wanted almost, I don't know, it was over $10 for sure. And I was like, no, I know I can find that at Goodwill. <laughs> I am not willing to pay that. <laughs> Goodwill has spoiled me. I have a hard time paying full price for a lot. <laughs> and why, why pay full price, right? Um, so I wanted to find this, a little basket. Um, to put in the bathroom to hold some things in the whole bathroom. So it has this nice stripe. Um, I would have probably preferred if it was like a tan. Uh, I guess it's ivory and black, I guess you could say. Um, not a huge fan of decorating with black, but you know what, The price for the price, you cannot beat it. It was $2.89. And again, at the store at home, I looked at some little bins and baskets and oh my goodness, those things are expensive. <laughs> I just, I ref again, I refuse to pay the price because I know I can find them at Goodwill and they are usually in very good condition. Now, speaking of condition, um, this is really nice with the tie, but then uh, at the checkout, I noticed that uh, this handle I guess was broken but I'm just gonna snip that off that does not bother me at all um, so I'll remove the cover and wash it and um, yep good as new so I was very happy about that for two dollars and 89 cents and then um, you know hubby and I like to travel so obviously I will not be wearing this scarf in Florida but I just love I love plaids but it's pink and gray and it says that, let me put my glasses on, that it's a cashmere feel. It's 100% acrylic. And this wound up being $1.89. $1.89. I mean, it is crazy, crazy. So I will wash that up and it is super, super soft, you guys, super soft, but I just love it. It's so soft and I love when it's, 
uh, you know, just comfortable. If something's going to be around my neck, it needs to be very comfortable. <laughs> so yeah, happy to have found that. Um, and then I just have one more item to show you. So of course, I like to save the best for last. And I think this is really the best. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. <laughs> but you know, let me preface showing you this by saying yesterday I was in the living, in our um, family room. I always call it the living room. It's the family room. <laughs> the room where we have the big uh, pool table, if you've seen some of my house tours. Um, but that's the room that my dad sits in and, you know, sometimes we'll hang out in there too. But um, I was looking at the couch and uh, I had put out a kind of a patriotic throw the other day, but and I kind of have patriotic um, decor out right now for the summer, but I was, I'm, I'm thinking it's almost time. It's almost time, September 1st <laughs> or so. Um, I can start decorating for fall and I can't wait. So uh, I was looking at my couch and thinking, wow, it would be really nice to have a, you know, a nice fall throw to drape on the couch. So I went into Goodwill and I looked at their section and usually it's, it's kind of hit or miss and usually it's a miss in the throw section. I usually don't really find too much that I want to take home with me. Today was an exception. <laughs> Wait till I show you this, you guys. God was really looking out for me, I tell you, because what did I find but this kind of a burnt orange um, throw chenille. Let me turn it around so you can see the, the fringe. It is literally like brand new and it's such a nice size. Um, you know, it's just your typical, very nice, um, long throw. But one of the best parts is, look at this, you guys. Look who makes that. Pier 1. Yeah, Pier 1. And what was the price? $2.84. <laughs> this is crazy. So I decided to look it up online to see how much Pier One. This is literally like brand new. I don't know if Pier One donated this or if somebody was just getting rid of it. But um, anyway, I looked up the price online and they are $40. $40. <laughs> I would have a hard time paying $40 for a throw, but you know, um, I just thought it was beautiful. Beautiful orange color for the fall. So yep, that just made me very happy to find that today. So anyway, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item today. Hope you've enjoyed, um, you know, just popping in and seeing what I'm up to today. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you guys are doing, and I will see you soon. God bless.